tracks. Motorcycle Mania by David N. Patricia Armentrout. The first motorcycle. Gottlieb Daimler, a German engineer, built the first two-wheeled, gasoline-powered vehicle in 1885. His creation wasn't exactly speedy. It ran about 7 miles, 11.26 kilometers, an hour. However, it didn't take long for Daimler's simple motorcycle to evolve into a reliable and popular mode of transportation. This is Gottlieb Daimler. And this is Gottlieb Daimler's two-wheeled machine. Racing Tracks Daimler had no idea his first motorcycle would lead to a new motorsport. But by the early 1900s, motorcycle racing gained a foothold in Europe and quickly spread around the world. Organized races were held on public roads, horse race tracks, and on wooden tracks called velodromes. As technology improved, and motorcycles became faster, motorcycle race tracks became necessary. An early motorcycle on a wooden track. It takes a professional track to safely handle the high speeds of sport bikes and superbikes. Motorcycle sports are generally broken into two groups, road and off-road. Each group has several smaller groups. In the dirt. Dirt track racing, also known as flat track, is one of the earliest forms of motorcycle racing. Dirt offers good traction and is forgiving in a fall. Tracks range from a quarter mile, 40 kilometers, to a mile, 1.6 kilometers, long. Flat track is as exciting to watch as it is to race. Riders race elbow to elbow at breakneck speed on hard packed dirt ovals. Speedway races are slightly different. Racers use controlled slides to maintain speed on a loose dirt or shale surface. Oval tracks range from 250 to 425 meters, 820 to 1395 feet, long. Dirt pies as a speedway racer power. Slides through the turn. Flat track TT courses have left and right turns and at least one jump. Concrete and ice. Most flat track courses are dirt. But some indoor tracks have a polished concrete surface. Concrete tracks are heated and then sprayed with sticky syrup. Soft rubber tires, hot concrete, and sticky syrup add up to great tire traction. Ice racing is popular in cold. Ice is another popular motorcycle track surface. Ice racing and ice speedway are two forms of motorcycle ice racing. Races take place on natural ice or on indoor ovals. Depending on the kind of race, riders use either rubber or metal studded tires. Rubber tires slide easily on the frozen surface, while studded tires provide grip. Motocross tracks some racing tracks are flat and some definitely are not. The term motocross combines the words motorcycle and cross country. Motocross racing tracks are built on grass, dirt, sand, mud, and gravel. And they're not flat. Motocross tracks have plenty of ups and downs, berms, dips, and jumps. Racers get airborne as they speed through the hilly courses. A racer takes advantage of an empty motocross course to fine-tune skills. Motocross racing on the beach is called beach cross. Paved tracks Motorcycle road racing takes place on tarmac, a paved surface. Some road races are held on public roads that are closed temporarily. Road races are quite challenging. Road courses take riders through narrow city streets, twisting country roads, and up and down hills. Races can last for hours, as riders may be required to complete many laps. Racers make their way through a country neighborhood. Spectators watch road racing action. Motorcycle road races are also held on circuit tracks. 
circuit tracks are built specifically for racing. Some are simple ovals, while others are more like road courses. They can have left and right turns, hairpin turns, a corkscrew turn, or an S-pen turn. Superbike races are on circuit tracks. Superbikes have soft rubber tires that heat up as they speed along the track. The rubber gets very sticky when hot, and sticky tires grip tarmac best. Racers navigate left and right turns, and elevation changes on the circuit track. Sticky tires grip the pavement as racers lean into the curves, or the strip. Drag bikes can't run laps on a circuit course, because they're built for straight line racing. Drag bikes race on a drag strip, a flat, straight, paved course. An aerodynamic shape reduces wind resistance and improves performance. Racers bum rubber to warm up their tires. Drag races are about speed, not distance. Races are only a quarter mile, 40 kilometers, or an eighth mile, 20 kilometers, long. A column of light separates the two lanes at the starting line. Racers keep a keen eye on the lights. A green light means go. And in less than 8 seconds, the race is over. Trails There are flat tracks, hilly tracks, ice tracks, and sometimes no track at all. Sometimes the best place to ride is on an off-road trail. Off-road motorcycle trails can be wide open or heavily wooded with tight passages. Off-road trails include all kinds of terrain, from dirt, sand, and mud, to grass, gravel, and rock. Off-road riders should stay on established trails. Mud flies on an Enjoro course. Enjoro events take riders on lengthy off-road courses with varied terrain. No end to racing? Superbikes wouldn't cut it on a dirt oval. And even though drag bikes are super fast, they would be useless on a speedway track. Tracks and trails evolve just like the motorcycles that race on them. Riders may debate which bike is the fastest or which track is the most challenging. But most would agree on one thing. As long as there are motorcycles, there will be motorcycle racing. Riders contemplate a steep hill climb the end. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.